Okay, guys, let me explain to you what is happening right now with XRP. For years, XRP has been left out of large cap funds. Large cap funds that include some of the top altcoins out there. Here's the thing. We've got a lot of institutional investors out there. They want exposure to crypto outside of Bitcoin. That exists right now, and it's going to get even bigger. This market is just beginning, right? Because as people get warmed up to the, eye of, uh, the idea of Bitcoin, they're going to be looking and saying, wait a minute, what other opportunities are out here, right? What other cryptos are a little bit cheaper right now that we can get in here and fully be on board and get in here early before a lot of people are already here? That's happening right now, and it's already happening. It's been happening. But what's held back XRP is this big lawsuit the last three plus years. Remember, XRP has been caught in this thing since 2020, December 2020. But now, as the narrative is shifting, the narrative is changing, we're seeing XRP start to come back in this case. And this is what I want to talk about. It has to do with Grayscale and their large fund that involves exposure to cryptos outside of Bitcoin. So listen, if you want exposure outside of Bitcoin and you're an old head, and you don't want to go through the traditional crypto way, you could do that. And we're going to have more ETF funds, I think, like this as well uh, in the near distant future, right? But right now, if you want to do this, you've got to do it through Grayscale's fund or something like it. So let me explain to you what's happening right now. So this is brand new, uh, just coming out, guys. So here's what we've got. Uh, basically, following a quarterly rebalance... Grayscale has added XRP to its digital large cap fund, which seeks to provide investors with exposure to large cap coverage of the digital asset market outside of, uh, you know, just Bitcoin. So this fund now includes Bitcoin and Ethereum as the two largest holdings, right? But again, this is more about getting exposure, not just to Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also getting exposure outside of these two, right? So here's what else it includes now. Cardano, Solana, Avalanche, and guess who? XRP. They've actually removed Matic from the fund and paved the way for XRP. So XRP replaces Matic uh, in this new um, look, a new rebalance of Grayscale's digital large cap fund. And this is a huge, huge deal because... For a while here, XRP was just not even included in any of these funds because of the craziness that was going on with the SEC. And they didn't want that kind of risk, right? Grayscale didn't want that kind of risk. They just weren't going to do it. But now things are changing. The narrative is changing again, and people are starting to see the benefits of XRP. We're just beginning in terms of seeing XRP being listed in a lot of these funds. And here's what I think is going to happen. I think once this Bitcoin ETF is approved, guys, we are going to see a huge shift from the big market managers, the big fund managers, the big institutional investors. They're not just going to stop at Bitcoin, guys, because let's face it, Bitcoin doesn't have the type of gains left in it than, 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 than XRP potentially has, right? Or even Ethereum or any other top crypto that's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin's market cap is just shy of a trillion dollars. You can look at some other market caps out there that are in the $30, $40 billion range that have just tremendous upside, like eight to 10X more upside compared to Bitcoin in this next cycle. This money is going to shift in that direction. Once Bitcoin is solidified, once people start to learn more about these markets, once people are available, uh, once, once these funds are available, like the Grayscale one and many more, and people start to get more knowledge on this, you're gonna see this shift happen and people are going to go heavily into some of these other ones outside of Bitcoin. So this is great for XRP. This is a huge stepping stone in the right direction. I know the price has been sucky lately. I know it sucks. This is a long-term play, right? We got to keep this in mind. XRP is not a short-term swing trade. XRP is a long-term play. We have to keep that top of mind because if we're looking at the day-to-day -day price action, yeah, it's completely sucked for XRP. But there's something happening right now. A lot of the liquidity is being rebalanced and reshuffled into Bitcoin for the short term right now as the Bitcoin ETF is the big kind of deal right now. Eventually, that money will rotate back over into altcoins. People will start to take profits on Bitcoin, I think, after the ETF comes out. 
And then people will start to look to rebalance and look for these gems and look for cryptos that are big, solidified, that haven't moved yet. XRP is going to be one of them. And we're seeing it happen right now with Grayscale rebalancing and getting exposure to XRP now. Guess why? It's at a cheap price point. They're smart. Follow the smart money. Don't let them fool you. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Peace.